revolutionary arms race, bats versus moths, who will win? By Resika Deshpande, Monica Rani, and Aisha Pato. Let's set the scene. It's a dark evening in the West Coast. The moths and bats are awake, and it's the beginning of their day. The hunt for food has begun for the bats. And what is their food source, you may ask? The many moths that are fluttering through the fresh evening air. Bats emit two types of ultrasonic cries. There is a slow paced ultrasonic cry, mm, 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 when bats are looking for food and orienting. The other one is the fast paced ultrasonic cry, ah, 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 when attacking a moth. The moth, in turn, has two types of sensory receptors the A1 for moderate intensity ultrasound, and the A2 for high intensity ultrasound. As the night approaches, the bat is hungry. She senses the moth. The moth also senses the bat as the bat draws closer. As the distance between the moth and the bat decreases, the A1 firing rate increases of the moth. When the bat attack is imminent, the moth's A2 receptors begin to fire, leading to a wing flip followed by a dive. If the moth survives, it orients itself and uses its A1 receptors again to avoid the bat. The predator-prey co-evolution can lead to an evolutionary arms race. In the case of bats and moths, bats have evolved to use echolocation to detect and catch their prey. Moths have in turn evolved to detect the echolocation calls of hunting bats and evoke evasive flight maneuvers or reply with their own ultrasonic clicks to confuse the bat's echolocation. The example of the moth and the bat demonstrates the principle of co-evolutionary arms race in nature. The bat has evolved echolocation in order to sense the moths in order to eat them, and the moths have evolved A1 and A2 receptors to sense the bats and evade predation. This co-evolutionary arms race between predator and prey allows both to survive in their environments. 